Hello and welcome to Kaleidoscope. I'm Uche Aluku. Coming up on the program, the Emmanuel Chapel Methodist Church in Lagos donates food packages to Lagos, Ogun and Ekiti state governments to feed a total of 60,000 people in one week. The Diocese of Lagos Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion in Marina, Lagos supports government's fight against coronavirus with food items for the needy. And leading livestock company in Nigeria, Animal Care Services Consult Nigeria Limited, donates its premium product to Lagos and Ogun state governments to alleviate the impact of the lockdown. Thank you for joining us on the program. Happy Easter to all the Christian faithful and happy holidays to everyone. This year's celebration is certainly nothing like the usual celebrations that come with the season with the impact of coronavirus pandemic and the lockdown taking its toll, especially on the less privileged. To ensure such people don't go hungry this season, the Emmanuel Chapel of Methodist Church in Lagos is donating 10,000 food packages to feed 60,000 people in Lagos, Ogun, and Ikiti states. Take a look. Given the lockdown, there's no gathering of worshippers at the Emmanuel Chapel Methodist Church in Banana Island, Lagos, for the Easter celebration. But that's not stopping the church from doing the work of God. In every corner are food bags numbering 10,000 to feed 60,000 people. The math is simple. In each bag is food that can feed an average of six people for a week at a time when there are growing concerns over hunger in the land. Some of the food items in the bags are rice, wheat, semolina, noodles, sugar, among others. On behalf of Emmanuel Chapel Methodist Church, we'd like to present 3,300 bags of foodstuff for the poor and the vulnerable in the society. The strategy is donate over 3,000 bags to three states, Lagos, Ogun and Ekiti through representatives of the state governments. Also present is the wife of the Ogun state governor, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodun. According to the chaplain of the chapel, this is about sharing in the pain of the vulnerable in society, as the head of the church Jesus Christ did when he died for mankind. As a church, we believe it must be faith in action. It cannot be just preaching. It must be doing what Christ did, going around feeding the hungry, treating those that are ill. We're providing food for 60,000 people for one week across three states. And we think that at this time, all of us as citizens of this country must come together and show that we really are one. What coronavirus has shown is that there is no Christian or Muslim, there is no Hausa or Yoruba. This virus is indiscriminate and doesn't know anybody and can affect anybody. And so as a church, we, we believe that we have to stand tall at this time because this is really what shows our faith. This is what really shows that we love God because we are touching the people that are needy and the people that are hungry. The choice of Lagos, Ogun and Ekiti states is based on the church's assessment of the respective state government's efforts to reach undeserved populations. I think this is a very good gesture. This is something we are expecting for the religious bodies to actually come out and help our people at this time. Even the governor of Ogun State is actually doing a program now that is actually meant for the old people, the vulnerable and the poor. So what we do is we go to their houses to deliver it to them. We visit houses to let them know that yes, this is a government that cares about them. So we visit them at home to give it to them. So we, we, are, we want to beat the social distancing um, thing. We don't want to gather people together and let them feel like, oh, we that we are making the rules, we are breaking the rules. So that's why we encourage our people to actually stay in their houses and we'll go there, visit them and make sure that the old, the vulnerable and the poor of the forest gets those gifts. And firstly, I will appreciate the, 
the members and the donors of this uh, great, uh, wonderful product for our people in Ekiti. It's a very, it's an enviable gesture to our people, and I'm sure it will go a long way in elevating the suffering of the downtrodden, the less privileged in the society. Like it was said earlier on that, apart from the virus, the COVID virus itself, the, the damage it's doing, there is another virus which everybody is, you know, is a bit we are shying away from, which is poverty. It's killing a lot of people, and it's making things, it's making life unbearable for people. But this great gesture will go a long way to bring to bring succor to people who are in need of what to eat, because that's the that's the first need of man, what to eat, so that life can be sustained. This goes deeper than feeding the hungry during the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. The church says its relief fund has a culture of seeking out the needy. The relief fund in Emmanuel Chapel has always existed, will always exist, and our objective is always to help the needy. So we have other projects that we have undertaken and we will continue to undertake. They are all aimed at helping the poor and the vulnerable around us. And off the 10,000 food bags go into vehicles for onward distribution to beneficiaries. This amount of relief items will not have been possible for a small chapel of about 300 members without the generous donations of members, non-members and some corporate organizations.